Hi, so in this particular video uh, we're going to start talking about using quadratic equations to solve problems. Okay, um, now this is really pitched at about a A star type uh, high school GCSE maths. So really you need to have a fairly good grasp on how to factorise and how to work with quadratics. And if you have a look at the playlist there's a couple of videos in there and I'll also add another playlist on dealing specifically with the theoretical side of, of quadratics. Um, the kind of problems that you generally tend to get at a, a star type level usually fall into something like uh, this. So what we've got is an area, okay, and this bit here is 2x, this is x, this is x, and this is x plus 3. Okay, and what they tell us is that the overall area of this shape is 20 centimetres squared. And what you're looking to do is to find out the value of x. Okay, well, um, with this, really what we're doing is we're trying to find a way to create an equation that will allow us to isolate x and work out its value using the information that we've got here. Okay, so when you're dealing with an area um, with uh, an irregular shape, the easiest way is actually just to break it down into two separate shapes, two or three separate shapes, and uh, treat each of them individually and add them together to get the overall area. So this particular one we've got x and x, the value of x here is x times x, so this bit here is going to be x squared. Okay, this one here is going to be x plus 3 along the top and along this bottom here it's actually also going to be x because this overall length is 2x and half of it, or this area here, is x, so therefore the remaining bit must be x as well. Okay, so what we've got here is x times x plus 3, and what we know is if we add all that up together, it's going to make 20 centimetres squared. Okay, so we've got the beginnings here of a quadratic equation. What I'm going to do is just get rid of these brackets. So I'm going to get x squared plus x times x is another x squared, and then x times plus 3 is going to be plus 3x, and that's going to equal to 20. Okay, so a little bit of tidying up. Um, add those two together, I'm going to get 2x squared. I'm also going to get plus 3x. Okay, and because it's a quadratic, I need to get it equal to 0, so I'm going to bring this over and that's become minus 20 equals 0 because I'm solving for x. Okay, great. So I'm in a position now where I've got a quadratic equation. The only tricky bit with it is this 2 here. Um, now with these types of questions, the hard bit sometimes is actually working out the quadratic in the first place. So usually solving it is relatively straightforward, but bearing in mind it is a higher grade question. Now with this particular question, uh, I'm going to use the cross method. Um, there is a, a link on the playlist and that will take you through to how to use cross method of factorisation. Um, it's the one that I generally tend to prefer. You could use the quadratic formula if you wanted to, but it might take a little bit of time to do it. In this particular case, I think it's going to be fairly straightforward, because with the cross method, I've got this point here, which equates to here, this equates to here, this one is here, and this one is here. Okay, so with 2x squared, it's going to have to be 2x and x, because there's no other two terms that when I multiply them together will make 2x squared. Okay, so I've now got minus 20, and this is where the cross method kind of works really well, because with minus 20, if I want to multiply two terms together, I could do uh, 10 and minus 2, or I could do 5 and minus 4, or I could do uh, plus 1 and minus 20, but actually multiplying two terms together to make minus 20 
using this method allows me to kind of just practice or just trial and error a little bit. So the first thing, I suspect it's going to be five and four. So I'm going to put a five in here and a four in there. I'm just going to try plus five and minus four. OK, well, let's just multiply those out. So I've got two X times minus four is minus eight X. And I've got X times five is five X. All right, so five X and minus eight X. OK. The thing about that is if I add those two together, I'm actually going to get minus 3x. So actually, it's not going to work for me. 5x plus minus 8x is minus 3x. No, I need plus 3x. But actually, my instinct was right about 5 and 4, because I think now that actually if I turn it the other way round, so this time I'm going to have minus 5 at the top, and plus 4 there, and again I cross multiply, I've got 2x plus 4 is 8x, and then minus 5x, so that's brilliant. Add those two together, minus 5 plus 8 is going to be plus 3, brilliant. So I can now go ahead and write the correct numbers into the uh, two brackets, okay? Um, so that method does work. I appreciate I've gone through it fairly quickly. Do please have a look at the video if you're not sure. You could also do it just by sheer trial and error. Uh, just put in numbers that you think will work and then just work backwards um, and uh, multiply them out again. Or you could use quadratic formula if you wanted to. Okay, those two bracket terms equal zero. So therefore to solve for x, I've got 2x minus 5 equals 0, and I've got x plus 4 equals 0, because what I'm doing is imagining that is just 1, or value of 1. OK, so 2x minus 5 equals 0. If I manipulate that, I'm going to get x equals 5 over 2. If I manipulate this one, I'm going to get x equals minus 4. Well, it's not going to be minus 4 because that wouldn't work in this particular uh, question. So that's not going to be right. 5 over 2 means that the value of x is 2.5, which I think will work very well in this particular uh, question. So the value of x is 2.5 centimetres. OK, so that answers the question. I appreciate it's uh, quite an involved explanation and you do need to know a little bit about solving uh, quadratic equations and also perhaps have a bit of an instinct for what you think the solving is going to be. They are fairly highly rated. This particular question is worth Oh, I guess probably about five or maybe six marks at GCSE. So it's well worthwhile uh, having a go at. There are some other examples in the rest of the playlist. Please do subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.